Hey guys, this is Ben the Spider-Man Fan Media here, and today I'm going to be doing a movie review on Spider-Man Strikes Back, and it is the second Nicholas Hammond Spider-Man movie, and, and it is the second Spider-Man television movie, and it stars, and it is directed by Rand Staloff. It is written by Robert Jaynes, and it came out May 8th, 1978 in Europe, and December 21st, 1978 in Worldwide. So now let's get on to the plot. At the New York State University, one of Peter Parker's tutors has accidentally given three students all the materials they need to create an atomic bomb. The students use the, pl the plutonium to try to build a bomb in order to illustrate the dangers of nuclear power. While Peter Parker tries to find out what's happened, the police suspect him of a crime, and Peter has, a de has to deal with an, an attractive journalist named named Gail Hoffman, who is determined to get an interview with Spider-Man after his well pub public 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 zi pub uh let me see that again public public sized rescue of a suicide jumper in order to make th their point the students m steal some plutonium from the lab spider-man appears on the scene in an unsuccessful attempt to prevent the thief but spider-man is seen by security guards and naturally is blamed for the theft Meanwhile, in Switzerland, villain Mr. White reads a new newspaper report of the theft and did did you let me pronounce that right? Um, let me see. Uh, Desudes. Let me see that again. Dead. Dead accuse that um, it was the students rather than Spider-Man who stole the radioactive material. He gave he plans to relieve the students of their ill-gotten gains. He departs immediately for the United States with his monstrous henchman Angel. White has henchmen steal the plutonium so that. He, could, he can obtain his own version of the weapon. Spider-Man is forced to defeat this scheming villain in order to stop him blowing up the World Trade Center. White kidnaps Peter in an effort to locate the plutonium. When one of the students involved in... The theft is admitted to the hospital with radiation poisoning. Peter changes to Spider-Man to track down the plutonium. White and Angel engage in a fight against Spider-Man and hurried him off a 12-story building, seemingly to his death. He saves himself from his death dive by forming a net with his webbing, but in, con in the confusion... White and Angel escape with the plutonium. J. Jonah Jameson, the Order of the Daily Bugle, discovers that White has fled to Los Angeles and arranges Peter Park for Peter Parker and Gail Hoffman to travel to the West Coast in search of Mr. White demands one million dollars. I don't know if that's right. Just let me see. Is it? Let me see. One million dollars, I don't know. <laughs> In return for not selling off the plutonium bomb in heavily populated area, the authorities assume wrongly. That means New York, in fact, White plans to set off the bomb in Los Angeles at the time. The president is giving a speech there. Spider-Man finally tracks White to his lair and learns of White's plans, he locates the bomb and defuses it at the last second. 
but White escaped and vowed that he and Spider-Man will meet again. So, the cast is Nicholas Hammond as Spider-Man, Chip Fields as Chip Fields as Rita Conway, Robert F. Simon as J. Jonah Jameson, Robert Alda as Mr. White, Michael Pataki as Captain Barbara, Jonah Cameron as Gail Hoffman, Leia Kavanaugh as Linda, Lawrence P. Casey as Angel, Cindy Cute as Inspector DiCarlo, Emil Farkas as, karate, as the Karate Thug, and Ron Hijack as the motor, Motorcycle Salesman. So, what do I honestly think of the film? The film is actually great in my opinion. So, I'll give this movie like a, a 9 out of 10 though. So that's all for this video. Like and subscribe and this is me signing out.